According to a report by the World Economic Forum, there will be estimatedly 7.1 million surplus jobs by 2021 as a result of the fourth industrial revolution, the development of Internet of Things and intellectual intelligence. The new technologies have and will change any simple or complex work that needs and can be automated. According to the above evolution, training young generation to master and create technology has been deployed throughout the world. Vietnam is in the same journey with many creative and innovative technology classes and centers for children have been established. Công nghệ trước đây chỉ đơn giản như thế hệ của chúng tôi là học tin học ở tại một trường cấp 3 có thể nói là nổi tiếng của Hà Nội thì chúng tôi cũng chỉ học Uh, Word, học Excel, học những cái thứ mà rất là uh, tôi nghĩ là căn bản nhưng mà vào cái thời điểm đó thì chúng tôi không ý thức được là nó quan trọng thế nào Thế còn đến bây giờ ấy, thì cái cách dạy của họ là một cách dạy rất là khác Họ không dạy theo cái nghĩa là bạn phải biết rằng nó quan trọng như thế nào Mà họ dạy bạn khám phá và yêu thích cái môn học đó Thì tôi nghĩ là trước hết với vai trò là một phụ huynh thì tôi thích cho con mình học những thứ gì mà chúng nó yêu Đấy bởi vì là chúng nó yêu rồi thì chúng nó sẽ có một cái cái cách để chúng nó đi vào và làm chủ được cái môn học đó một cách rất là dễ dàng. Sinh ra uh, tầm khoảng những năm 2000 bao nhiêu đó thì chúng nó rất là mê game và quá là thân thiện với các cái thiết bị tablet thì um, bây giờ đấy là cơ hội của chúng nó. Thay vì là chúng nó đắm đuối vào làm một người chơi thì chúng nó là người sáng tạo, là người kiến tạo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shrink Vietnam on VTC10 NetVid. STEM has been emphasized by the Vietnam Ministry for Education and Training as the foundation to drive Vietnam's innovation. We're here today at one of the pioneers in bringing STEAM subjects, which are science, technologies, engineering, arts and mathematics into their training programs for the Vietnamese youth. Please join me in welcoming the representative of the Techie STEAM Academy, Mr. Eric Adams, in our talk today. Thank you so much for joining our program today. What are your views regarding the need of children in learning science and creative subjects like the STEAM subjects and how is it being deployed in your home country? So in the United States, Technology is a very big field. There's a lot of communication and debate going on about college level education, but when you think about the children and the actual education that they're getting, there really isn't a huge emphasis on that. And I think that's because the United States sees them as the number one player. I do think it's important because unlike other areas of technology where you have industrial engineering maybe, where you would build a bridge or civil engineering or something like that, Computers and technology related to software is unique because it has a global outreach. If you build a bridge in your country, the people who pay taxes are probably the only ones using that bridge. But if you build a piece of software, it can be used all over the world, just like the camera right here. As far as Vietnam advancing in that area, absolutely essential that you focus on the children and you inspire them in ways that their grandparents weren't inspired. Because now Vietnam does have resources and they do have these programs available. The Vietnamese government has emphasized uh, the importance of bringing uh, STEAM subjects into the educational training program. So how do you view on the um, movement of STEAM subjects in the programs that are being deployed in Vietnamese schools? I've been seeing this, this excitement almost about technology, not just in the young kids, but in all ages in the spectrum. There's this gravitation towards developed industries. Speaking English puts you in the developed world. Understanding technology puts you in the developed world. So I definitely do see that effect. I can see there's this general acceptance that technology is where we need to go. Techie is said to be the pioneer in uh, bringing STEAM subjects rather than just the STEAM subjects, which including arts element in it. So could you share more with us regarding the training program that Techie is being deployed at the moment? So I can admit that these people have an understanding of the theory, but when you try and manage them or you try and work with them, the practice oftentimes is not there. 
So one thing that I like so far about Techie is that there's a union there. There's a marriage between the arts and the theory and the actual science behind it. If you see a painting on a wall or if you see a piece of literature written on a script, right, you might, you might be interested in that. Your art brain is reacting to that in a way that your technical brain does not. So it's nice to see that they have these programs here, specifically with a program called Scratch, where the children can build an application essentially in a drag and drop environment. They're not necessarily writing code. So that appeals to their art brain, right? That appeals to their ability to think of something and then be able to create it. And really that's what technology is meant to be. So I think the unique element here is that they have tools for joining the two, the technology engineering part and then the arts. And building applications in, in Scratch, for example, or having a, a Lego session, there's a couple Lego robots hanging around, lets them see that there's some art here. I can paint a picture. I can create a song. But I'm not doing it with, with my mouth or with my hand. I'm doing it with my mind by thinking about the theory. So those are things that I think Vietnam and the rest of the world need to acknowledge, that technology is a science, but art and theory are different from that. So if you can see how they interact together, you can really utilize what technology is all about. Established since June 2016 for Chinese ages 6 to 18, Taki is the grandchild of Ms. Dao Lan Hương after two years of researching and creating a space firstly to serve her son's interest towards technology and cultivate abilities for future prospect. Taki's model adopts the technology and successful models from leading countries in children's education, such as Singapore, USA, Australia, Malaysia, Hong Kong, China. Enthusiasm of the children. Um, they are desperate to get their hands on the technology, to get their hands on the computers. We were really delighted that the head of Techie um, was able to visit Australia under one of our programs last year. That was the Australian ASEAN Emerging Leaders Program. Uh, and that, that, uh, that tour with other members from ASEAN countries focused very much on science and innovation and to provide them with an opportunity to share what is going on within ASEAN nations. And then to do that within Australia so that they could see what Australia is doing, but also for Australia to learn from them as to what is happening within, within ASEAN. So we already have, I think, a really good rhythm of cooperation and, and I think that's going to only increase. Chúng tôi có thể tự tin là một trong những đơn vị đã cung cấp ra các nội dung phong phú nhất hiện nay trên thị trường trải rộng trên 6 các nội dung khác nhau. Không chỉ có về robotics là bộ môn khá là phổ biến hiện nay thì chúng tôi còn có những nội dung liên quan đến lập trình không chỉ là Scratch còn có Python, Alice, rất nhiều các ngôn ngữ khác nhau. Ngoài ra là có liên quan đến những cái công nghệ mới cập nhật nhất trên thế giới chẳng hạn như là công nghệ in 3D thì đây là một cái xu hướng công nghệ trong tương lai có thể ứng dụng vào rất là nhiều ngành nghề, lĩnh vực khác nhau thì chúng tôi muốn trang bị cho các bạn những cái kiến thức hiểu biết trước để các bạn có thể tận dụng và ứng dụng trong tương lai rồi là liên quan đến những cái bộ môn nghệ thuật mà có tính ứng dụng công nghệ chẳng hạn như là um, sản xuất phim uh, ảnh uh, và uh, thời trang sáng tạo ứng dụng công nghệ các bạn có thể tự sáng tạo tự vẽ trên máy máy tính của mình vì vậy là rất là tốt cho việc các bạn sáng tạo ra những sản phẩm mang dấu ấn của riêng mình chúng mình rất là nhiều hỗ trợ cho các bạn về mặt uh, ngữ nghĩa của các câu lệnh rất là nhiều và các bạn sẽ chỉ phải nhớ thôi. Hơn nữa là các câu lệnh này sẽ được phân màu có các câu lệnh kéo thả cực kỳ trực quan nên là cái việc mà các bạn làm quen với câu lệnh khá là dễ. Techie classes have attracted a large number of youngsters to participate in the experience. From assemble and control robot models, experience a virtual reality technology and simple game programming. Tôi nghĩ rất là nhanh chóng cái hình thức dạy và học kiểu này cũng sẽ đi vào các trường tiểu học. Tôi nghĩ là không lâu đâu bởi vì hãy cứ nhìn là các cái trường học tư nhân họ được mở ra hàng ngày. Họ cũng sẽ phải bắt nguồn từ cái nhu cầu thực tế của xã hội, nhu cầu thực tế của phụ huynh và họ phải nhìn thấy cái tình yêu của học sinh trong đó. Tôi cũng 
Why parents often forbid children from using and abusing technology? New models like Techie trend parents' perceptions and have technology become more relevant, helpful and positive to the youth. What about the enthusiasm and the ability of Vietnamese students in learning STEAM subjects? Not only children, but young adults, uh, college-age kids, or people who are in the industry for a while even. People are hungry to learn about what they can do with computers. But the ability is not there. And that's because I think programs did not exist 20, 30 years ago like this, right? I think the ability is not present, but the ambition is. And if you can give students a resource, a center, a set of teachers who can give them the ability to match their enthusiasm, then that's really where you can start developing and becoming a world player in technology. The difference in the enthusiasm between boys and girls towards STEAM subjects is a problem currently mentioned a lot by the Vietnamese educational professionals. Uh, how will the programs of Techie will tackle this problem? In the United States, women are not choosing jobs in technology. When I went to the university and I took four years in my undergraduate for computer science, I was surrounded by dudes, right? There weren't any women there. There'd be one in the corner and she'd probably drop out, you know? As far as Vietnam goes, it's similar, right? When I work with people in Vietnam, most of them are males. And is that because in Vietnam they're choosing that as well? And if women aren't choosing to go into technology, then they need to be. They should be. Uh, it's not that they have to so that we can have equality. It's because I believe that they are equally skilled. At that age, when you're five or six years old, girls like Barbies and guys like robots. But that doesn't mean that girls can't like technology. So the focus needs to be on the art, like I was saying. You need to make it appealing to them as well. So a girl might not like to see a robot punch another robot. That might not be what a girl likes to do. But a girl might like to see technology that does other things. Maybe combs the hair on her doll, for example, right? So if you can make it appealing to what both genders are interested in at that age, then you can capture the entire spectrum here, right? So I think that's fully possible because there are a lot of gender neutral activities that can take place here. And finally, what are the plans of Techie in nurturing the love towards science subjects and creative arts uh, for Vietnamese students? I think eventually, somewhere down the timeline, in 2018 or something it was, they're going to be looking at branching out in other countries as well. So as far as Vietnam goes, I haven't been to Ho Chi Minh City for very long. I've been in Hanoi for a pretty long time. And I think that there's definitely some, some movement towards that. Okay, so by opening up other centers, you now get your name out there and people say, hey, Techie, it's really fun. Look what my little kid did, Look what my little girl did, right? And it's not just so that they can become a world player. It's so that they can know if that's what they want to do or not. A big problem that a lot of people have is they don't know what they want to do until they're too old. But if you can show kids, okay, I like computers or I don't like computers, now they know I can go focus on something else or I can try more for computers because I really like it. So expanding their centers is a really big way to do that, and I think that's on their, their timetable. Thank you so much for all of your sharing today. That's the end of our program today. Thank you so much for watching us. Any questions and feedback, please email to shrankvietnam at netfittv.net. Thank you, and see you again.